Hello and welcome to Quick Charge by Electrek. I'm Mikey G and it's Wednesday, September 7th. The Canadian government has confirmed that it is talking with Tesla about building an electric vehicle factory in the country. Over the last few months we've been reporting on evidence that Tesla has been looking at a potential location for a gigafactory in Canada. Now, Francois-Philippe Champagne, Canada's Industry and Innovation Minister, has confirmed that the government is in talks with the automaker. Champagne also made it clear that he is talking to other automakers, but Tesla is the most exciting. Tesla has made it clear that speed is essential in this case. The automaker wants the government to guarantee a clear path to build the factory and establish production quickly. The company has been lobbying for more efficient permitting processes in order to make it happen. Tesla continues to receive accolades for its safety ratings with the Model Y receiving top safety ratings from the Euro NCAP and the Australia's A NCAP. In Australia, Tesla scored high in all categories, but especially adult occupant protection and safety assist. In fact, the Model Y scored near perfect results in the crash test for adult occupants. For child protection, the Model Y lost some safety points because it's not equipped with the support for every kind of car seat. Also, the agency was impressed by Tesla's autonomous emergency braking system for protecting road users and preventing or mitigating crashes with other vehicles. Kia Europe has announced a new partnership with Encore Deutsche Bahn to reuse former EV batteries to create scalable energy storage systems. Deutsche Bahn, or Encore DB, has been partnering with a number of businesses to procure and use batteries to give them a second life as energy storage solutions. Under the new agreement, Kia Europe becomes the first mobility solution provider to officially partner with the goal of expanding repurposed batteries throughout all of Europe. According to the companies, the aim of these battery-powered systems is to help reduce reliance on the grid by enabling more predictable energy flows while increasing the amount of renewable energy used across a given area. Electrek test drives the VW ID Buzz, the electric update for the iconic Volkswagen bus. It's a fun new electric vehicle with character that's going to provide a ton of utility for families and maybe even special use cases. At the moment, this is actually a European only car as it's delivered in Europe in the next few weeks, but it won't start in North America until 2024. As a matter of fact, the North American market is going to get a different version of the ID Buzz with 10 more inches between the wheels that will enable a third row seat. The van was fun, energetic, and put a smile on the driver's face. While it's understandably slow, the comfort of the full captain chair for the driver is unmatched in today's EV space. Although the hood is quite long and the driver sometimes has to peer over the front to get a view of what's immediately ahead. Quite the stark difference from the past models that ran on gas. You can read the full experience on our site, electrek.co. A little bit of good news for Nissan LEAF owners. The automaker is approving its first vehicle-to-grid charger for the Nissan LEAF model, meaning that owners can now sell energy back to the grid. The Nissan LEAF is a fun little EV, although its decade-old technology inside has fallen behind the times. The LEAF has a fast charger option using the Chademo plug, which is getting harder and harder to find out in the wild. Also, the thermal battery protection has led to premature battery degradation in some cases, But nevertheless, Nissan announced on Wednesday that it is approving the first vehicle-to-grid charger for LEAF owners. If they have much battery capacity left, they can now electrically support their homes. In today's community comment found on YouTube, Nick Roosevelt says, I have heard, but not sure it's true, that if you get the full self-driving package, you could get your Tesla sooner. Is that true? Well, Nick, I don't officially speak for Tesla, but at one time, this certainly seemed like it was the case. The online configurator for buying a vehicle on the Tesla website would list a lead time that would vary depending on the model and equipment that you chose. The more options you bought, the higher the price, and also the lower the lead time. Clearly, Tesla was prioritizing high-ticket purchases. Not long ago, it got to the point that the lead time tripled if the configuration did not have the full self-driving package on it. I'm pretty sure that it's calmed down by now, but I try not to buy Tesla vehicles too often, so I'm not all that privy in the current lead times for all the configurations. But definitely keep an eye out for that. Thanks for your question, Nick, and thanks for watching Quick Charge by Electrek. I'm Mikey G, 
and I hope you have a great day.